Hello Linux fans, Rob here, and today I'd like to introduce you to my new channel name, which is Linux Quest. Uh, the purpose of Linux Quest is to explore the world of Linux, uh, be it operating systems, uh, software, perhaps in the future we'll get into hardware, and Linux is something that's always changing and evolving from, from the standpoint of uh, the kernel and um, the advancements in uh, desktop environments as well as the software that runs on Linux and so we hope to explore that in the future and so for today what I'll have is the first of a multi-part series exploring uh, various Linux software um, whether that is software that is is comparable to something you're running on Windows or Mac or perhaps it's software that um, can do something that you that's not possible on Windows because it's cost prohibitive. So, you know, there are various pieces of um, video software in the Linux world that is free and open source that could cost several hundred dollars um, if you were running Windows or Mac, for example. So, today we're going to look at an office suite that is a lesser known office suite, but I think might uh, match Microsoft Office closer than any uh, other office suite available today. Now typically what you're going to find installed in most Linux distributions is a very nice office suite called LibreOffice and that came pre-installed. I'm uh, Today I'm running uh, a version of Ubuntu called Mate and uh, or Mate. I gotta make sure I get my pronunciations correct on some of these names but uh, that was pre-installed and it, it's, it's a fantastic office suite with a tremendous amount of support and it's also an office suite that will run on uh, various operating systems Windows, uh, Mac, I'm pretty sure it'll run on Mac as well uh, and it, it just has a very strong presence on Linux. Now the lesser known office suite is WPS Office and while it doesn't offer as many um, uh, I guess I'll say office uh, derivatives so for example with Libre you see Calc, Draw, Impress, Writer and I believe they have something else in there as part of the package. With WPS the package consists of presentation which is very comparable to PowerPoint, uh, Spreadsheet which is very comparable to Microsoft Excel and WPS Writer which of course is very comparable to Microsoft Word. So today I'm going to focus on WPS Writer and just go over some of the features and the layout and function of WPS Writer that I believe makes it a very very strong contender for Microsoft Word. We'll also get into some other things with WPS I think that might give it a slight edge depending on what you're running in the uh, mobile world so we'll get into that shortly. Alright so when you first launch WPS Writer uh, what you will be presented with is a page here of templates and it's it's a very impressive list of templates now these are online and so we'll we'll go through and to the left here you see my templates so if you had saved templates uh, highlighted now is recommended and then you have categories listed here for various templates so you could go into memo or letter invoice other. So you have uh, looks like storybook and pamphlets, uh, cards, and so just very impressed with the amount of templates uh, available. So let's go over here to letter and uh, we'll pull one up here. Let's just see. Uh, some of these are pretty uh, pretty attractive. So um, all right, I'm going to pull this one up here. And so now this is online, and all right, so this one's going to be a little slow, it looks like. Testing early, okay, that's, that's failed. Wouldn't you know it? <laughs> all right, let's try another one here. There we go, that pulled right up. Um, so now, if this is the template we wanted, you would simply click download, and then you would have access to uh, that template resident on your machine. So, really impressed there. Now, Let's say you just wanted to start out and you wanted to create a simple document 
to your right here you have new blank document and so we'll go ahead and start a new blank document as opposed to working with a template and so I want to point out when I said earlier in the intro that I believe this matches Microsoft Office closer than any other Linux Office suite or perhaps any other you know additional Office suite if if you look at this it, it's it's almost as if they copied the Microsoft Office ribbon um, you have a similar style here in place and um, you know, I'm not sure what they call their version here, but uh, to me, it's it's the ribbon, and it's uh, really intuitive. So you have home, various tabs, home, which will give you a certain group of functions. Then you have insert, which is going to pop up a different ribbon and give you um, a very similar list of functions that you would see in Microsoft Word. Page layout, again. Okay, so with page layout, you could go into themes. I'm just going to give you a quick overview, and then we'll we'll go back. Uh, references for footnote, um, captions, cross reference, and then review. and And here's a biggie: spell check. So uh, if you're like me and you you're not paying attention to what you're typing, spell check comes in very handy. So and word count. So when when I say this is full featured. I mean, this is completely full featured. Uh, then you have view. You can go in and view one page, two pages, 100%, zoom in, zoom out, full screen. Uh, over to the right, close, full screen. Outline, the web layout. And then um, section. So you could go in and have a cover page, split sections, add page number, header and footer. So it's all very intuitive laid out easy to understand and it's so familiar uh, when you first launch WPS Word that I think anyone who launches this for the first time if they have been a Microsoft Office user would immediately feel right at home with where to start so just whether uh, that was the intention when they were designing this software and, and I'm 99% sure that was the intention was to to copy what they they saw in Microsoft Office or whether that was just what made sense to them it works because the muscle memory is all there and so you know your fonts are all here now I have installed uh, MS Core fonts and I may uh, do another video just stepping through getting the Microsoft Core fonts installed uh, which would give you fonts like Arial and and a few other uh, Microsoft fonts as well. So we'll go ahead and start off with Arial and let's go in and you know if you wanted to change the size of your font for the purposes of the video I'll, I'll let's bump that up to 14 actually and I just want to illustrate again most of this is muscle memory I, I have not spent um, you know countless hours with WP Office I've used it in the past uh, and and used it some uh, here over the last week and currently it's in alpha stage and it's been in alpha stage for some time um, and then towards the end of the video here I'll go in and pull up a few links to show you uh, where you can download this and how easy it is to install especially if you're running a Debian based system so with that said we're just gonna do a test word or two alright so um, there's no lag in the typing or anything like that. It's, you know, the uh, the software doesn't feel heavy at all. Uh, it launches so much faster than Microsoft Office, um, and that right there is enough for me to to be happy to use it. Uh, I don't know how many times I have launched Word or or PowerPoint to find it sitting there with the spinning wheel for some unknown reason. All right, so we've got our text here, and we simply want to go in and. Just like you would in Office, you have the options to bold text, italicize, underline, change your text color. Um, I mean, everything there in, in a location, again, and I can't stress this enough, that is so familiar to a Microsoft Word user that your learning time would be just mere minutes. Um, let's go in and do some other things that 
um, that if you're getting into a more complicated document, it's you know it's, you're not just typing a letter. Perhaps you want to insert a photo. Uh, so we'll go in and insert my new uh, channel logo here. And uh, again, just like Word, you can do everything here that you would need to do. Enlarge that. Uh, you could go in and uh, put an outline around that. So let's let's put a red outline there, and uh, we can go in and change the weight of that outline. Again, very easy, very familiar. Okay, so that outline did not change color. There we go. And uh, it is uncanny as I'm using this uh, it is uncanny how uh, similar this is let's go in and add a little word art so we've got our text here hello Linux fans and so let's go in and we'll highlight that and right up here to the to the top you immediately see highlighted drawing tools and text tools just like you would in Microsoft Word. So uh, we've got our uh, text there. We're going to be here in text tool and we'll go in and change the outline. Let's make that something easier to see for the uh, video. You can add effects. You have shadow. Again folks this is so intuitive it's just my, that muscle memory is there and, and I just know immediately where to go and um, I'm so excited to see this go from alpha to beta to a final release and there's there's more reasons than just the fact that it's so user friendly and so close to Microsoft Office and and again I'll get to those here in a minute but you just see here if you were to pull up a, a Microsoft Word and you know I, I don't have that loaded on anything but if I did and I pull that up, you're just going to see a similarity here that's just uncanny. Uh, so we, we went in here and we got our fill colors. We can change that out. Let's we'll make that something. And so there you go. So very powerful, intuitive. The muscle memory's there. Uh, you know, page layout, size, columns. Um, it it's all there. It's it's a complete Microsoft Word uh, piece of software that that so far has been very stable. And again, I haven't used this for hundreds of hours, uh, but I have yet to have a crash or or a document recovery or anything of that nature. Uh, your alignment is all there. Uh, you can uh, group. So if you had multiple photos, you could go in and group those photos. Uh, let's go into review and let's let's just test out spell check. Let's uh, insert a text box. Now there, if you were to use an online version of say uh, the Android Office Suite um, Docs, Google Docs. I didn't mean to say Android Office Suite, Google Docs. Um, there is no text box unless they've updated that recently. I haven't used it. Um, probably three or four weeks but anyway there's no text box there and I use text box all the time for formatting documents a certain way so let's let's go in and, and add a text box multi-line text and we'll drag that down here out of the way again this is so familiar to what you would use in Word and um, we'll go ahead and test this the Fox jumped over the log. So immediately you see it, it caught Fox with two O's. So we can right click and there's Fox, so that's correct. Jumped, it, it's picked up that we had double P's in there. And then let's look at log and immediately it found that we had double G's there. And you're your drop down once you right click on something is again identical to Microsoft Word. You can add that word to your dictionary. Uh, you have font settings, paragraph settings, bullets and numbering, hyperlink right there. So spell check seems to do exactly what it needs to. Now from here 
One of the drawbacks, and again, I do not have a, a Microsoft Office suite available for this video to show you what I would like to show you is, if you have a simple document and you sent this in, a, in an open document format, so we're going to go up here to Writer, and we're going to go to Save As, you have various options here. You can save it as a WPS Writer document or a template of WPT. You can also save it as Microsoft Word 97 through 2003 or 2007 through 2010. 2007 through 2010 is probably what you're going to see the most, which is a DOCX format. And you have other formats. And so if you choose other formats, you're going to have XML, text files, uh, single web page file, okay? So other options there. So let's go back. We're going to save this as a Word 2007 2010 document. So we'll save that. Now you could send that file, and this is, you know, this has got images, you've got some uh, special fonts, things like that in their text box. If the person on the other end with Microsoft Office, Office were to open this file, there's about a, I'm going to say about a seven, five to seven percent chance that it will not be formatted 100% the way you have it formatted here once they open it in an office. I have yet to find an office suite that is going to be 100% compatible with all of the format that and the layout and everything that you have in a complicated document with Microsoft Office. But again, just like Microsoft Office, if you need this to be exactly as we see it, you go into Writer and you can go into Save As, Export to PDF. Now here you're going to have a few options. Let me drag that out and just make it clear. So uh, you can browse to where you want to save the PDF. You can export the summary information or comments or a hyperlink or footnotes. Uh, we're going to just turn all of that off for now. Convert tile styles to bookmarks. We don't need that as well. And you can choose all or current page. We only have one page. And you can password protect the document. So again, very powerful. It's, it's all there. Uh, in this case, we're going to go ahead and uh, we'll uncheck that, and we're just going to click OK. Now we've exported the document. We have two options. We can close it or open it from here, which is a nice feature because there's other software out there where you do not have the option to immediately open that file. You actually have to go back into your file manager find the document and open from there. So we're going to go ahead and open this. So as you see, uh, and we'll shrink this down just a little here, as you see this document is identical in format and everything as to our Word doc. And so if you have to have uh, formatting exactly as you have designed it, I would just suggest exporting to a PDF and send it that way. So we in the beginning I said there are some other things I want to show you and there are one of the huge benefits of WPS Office if you are an Android user is they have a very highly rated well that's bizarre I'm getting a uh, an error message here huh. okay never have I gotten an error message from the Play Store before there we go uh, but if you have an Android device, tablet or phone, they have an extremely nice uh, portable, well, let's see, that's the extra goodies. I'll have to look at that later. They have an extremely nice mobile office suite, um, WPS Office Plus PDF. And here is the benefit. If you're using WPS Office on your desktop or your laptop and you have WP Office installed on your Android device, be it your phone or your tablet, now you have zero formatting issues. 
for the most part, I'm going to say 99% of the time, when you open the document you created on your laptop or your desktop, you will have perfect compatibility on your mobile device when you open that document. And that's very valuable in today's world where everyone's working on the fly and working remotely. Uh, to have that access is fantastic. So that's a big plus and, and I think that an, gives it an edge over LibreOffice because there is no, to my knowledge, let's check this again, there is not a portable LibreOffice suite, suite of software for Android yet. And if someone knows of something that I don't please post comments so that we all know that. But anyway, so that's where I think WPS gets a nod and uh, as well as how similar it is to um, Microsoft Office. So two pluses there. Now if you want to install this and try it yourself, if you're running a Debian based um, operating system, you will go to wps-community.org and um, I will put that link in the video notes and you can simply click on get it now and you'll be presented with a list. This is uh, WPS Office for Linux Alpha 21. This was released 624-2016 uh, and you'll see an i386 deb file, um, AMD64, uh, x86-64 RPM, so if you're running OpenSUSE or Fedora you've got an RPM and then they have a, um, a tar file here so um, you could go in and com I guess maybe compile that or launch it from there so simply click on download for your if you have a 64-bit processor you will want to choose AMD 64 uh, download that and again if you're r running a Debian based or an, an Ubuntu uh, derivative system you should be able to just click on that file and it'll launch into the file installer very easy very quick to install the download size I think it's um, it's under 80 megabytes so you, you compare that to Microsoft Office um, you know so quick to install I um, mean you could carry that around on a flash drive no problem for install and they have a version for um, and I'm, I've got to come back let's go back to WPS they have versions for uh, Microsoft Windows WPS Office as well as Mac and I misspelled Office there so WPS for Windows, WPS for Android, WPS for iOS and WPS for Linux so according to this there's over 1.25 billion installs worldwide looks like there are a few reviews here too good to be true and I would agree um, this is something that I'm going to definitely keep my eye on I'm going to continue to use I'm going to do other videos uh, I, I want to get into the PowerPoint presentation side of things and we'll see how good that is when I say PowerPoint presenter side of things and we'll see how close that is to uh, Microsoft PowerPoint and we'll compare that maybe to uh, LibreOffice version and they've got a blog here and everything I believe this is made in China I believe this comes from a, a team in China um, so you can look into that for yourself and uh, I think there are several other reviews well there are several here from well-known CNET uh, Laptop Mag, Tech World so you could check those out as well. All right, well, I'm going to wrap it up here. Uh, I hope this helps. And if you have any questions or anything about it, feel free to uh, message me in the channel there. And, and stay tuned. I'll have uh, multiple parts, I believe, to this series on WP Office. And we'll check you next time.